Welcome to the Challenge and Challenge, just be it's games here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Gold Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we made it right here to Olivine City after beating Morty and getting our fourth gym badge. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking on the Lighthouse. And maybe, just maybe, get to see in uh, get to see in Wood City. But that's a possibility at the least. We'll see if actually see if that's at all possible to get to see in Wood and get our um, you know get our encounter. I think this is called Glitter Lighthouse. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's, that's what I remember this place has been called, Glitter Lighthouse. From, that's what it was called in Hot Rods or Silver, and I believe it's the same here. Fennel, I'd love you to kill this, but I'm also a little scared for you, so I'm not going to let you kill this. I'm going to let Shocks do the job. Although I could have stayed in. I could have stayed in against that. If I knew you were just going to growl me, I could have stayed in. Now if you pecked me, I would have known to switch out immediately because the fact is, the peck would have killed. The peck would have hurt. Fennel goes to level 27. Start to get some experience too. We beat Alfred. Go back to Wayne Manor, Alfred. Um, I think you know what? Since we didn't see a lot of Sage in the last episode, let's bring Sage in. We didn't see a lot of Sage. I'm going to try and avoid as many trainers as possible because the fact is, I don't really need trainers right now. And it would be good to have trainers next time I need tra uh, next time I need trainers again. Some trainers are unavoidable, like this guy. But other trainers are not other trainers are avoidable. Also it allows me to get to uh, uh see in wood quicker. I don't know whether I need to grind for Chuck or not. I think I might just like leave it. I do have some good typings for Chuck. I mean, I have I have a bug I have a bug flying type with confusion in Butterfree. Yeah, that's Fennel, by the way. And I also have a um, and I also have a psychic type in. Lover, which can do some damage with also confusion, and it can also put things to sleep and possibly nightmare, you know, make them see nightmares. And then maybe, just maybe, we could also have. I think I have to face you too. Maybe, just maybe, we can have um, uh, Lavender come in and do the job again, because Lavender's pretty good. It's just that being a normal flying type, he's a little weak to the gym. So it also makes me a little scared to be using him, because the fact is he c they could just use a fighting type move, and it might be quite scary for Lavender. I know that Lavender's got Gust, Gust is not really... We're getting to that area of the game where Gust is not going to be enough. We need a bit more than Gust. Now, in later games, we get Wing Attack. So we could use that in later games. In Hot Gold Soul Silver, we get Wing Attack. This is gold. So, we don't get Wing Attack. So, really, you know, Gust ain't going to cut it. We need a bit more than Gust. I mean, yeah, sure. If we beat the gym, we get Fly, one of the best gen, uh, one of the best flying type moves in Gen Two. Ooh, what's Team Thirty Four? What's Team Thirty Four? I 
don't know what that one is. I know what most of you... Oh, that's Swagger. No wonder I don't know what that one is. It keeps on changing, it keeps on changing its number. But that's not really useful to me. At this moment in time. Swagger could be useful. Swagger very well could be useful, but it's not useful to me now. Good work, Sage. Level 27. Kicking bird... Taking bird's names. Fero. Duh. Oh, come on, Sage. I suppose it's kick button, take names. You didn't take... You didn't take a name. Now take the name. Peck. Okay, Peck did only 10 damage. There we go. And another Spearow. Well, I one-shot the last Spearow, so... I can one-shot this Spearow, too. Nice work, Sage. So, um, I'm recording this the day after... Oh, that's a rare candy. Nice. I'm recording this the day after Milan Games Week. And really, we didn't get anything. Kind of an anti-climax in the end. Kind of annoyed about the anti-climax. But I'm trying to use it to mend some bridges of some people that I have not got along with in the past. And I'm now trying to mend bridges from. Certain people, me and uh, certain people have not got along, and I'm going to try and use, um, certain situations have allowed this certain person to, uh, to, uh, you know, talk to me again. So, you know, I'm going to try and use this as a way to mend a bridge. So, maybe, just maybe, there might be some potential to help the channel out with this certain person. Don't know. Highly, highly doubt it, because they are, uh, this person probably barely knows I exist. But, he's out there. And if he's out there, and if he knows what the Lantern Nation is, uh, how powerful the Lantern Nation is, then we might be able to get something out of it. And that might be something cool. But we'll honestly see about that. Uh, I, what I was hoping for for Milan Games Week was to see the uh, the new uh, the new Ultra Beasts in action that were revealed as part of the last Nintendo Direct. Uh, you know the ones I'm talking about. If you don't know which ones I'm talking about, I'm just going to stop talking now because sometimes people don't want me to spoil games. Sometimes people don't like me talking about games. But other people are totally okay with me talking for games. Well, anyway, there are certain Pokemon that have been released. Uh, they have not told us, like, typings of these certain Pokemon just yet. And I would like to know typings. I mean, we can all speculate what those typings are uh, from, from the way they were revealed. And the moves they used. But that's not official word from Nintendo. And so we get official word from Nintendo, it's anyone's game. So with that in mind, we don't know what these Pokemon are going to be. And I'm hoping that they will give us official word eventually. I mean, Cora Cora is coming up. And I like Cora uh, Cora, if you don't know, is a Japanese anime magazine. And um, basically reveals news on a lot of Japanese animes. And it does give a little bit of news for Pokemon. Mm. And mostly for the Pokemon video games when it does give news. Sometimes it gives news for the anime. But it has broken a few Pokemon in Korakora Kora that were and then later picked up by official Nintendo sources and Pokemon. So, you know, technically it's actually kind of an official source. Now that usually le uh, usually stores get in about the I think it's like the tenth 
It goes on sale on the 15th of each month, but it gets into stores about the 10th, and from that time onwards, it's a, it can leak. Leak. And it's Korakura officially, it's Korakura itself putting it online. They used to assume names and everything, but the fact is, it is Korakura themselves who put it online. But it is, like, it's leaked to, you know, like, sell num sell magazines. This Pokemon has, uh, always kept a sea lit at night, but suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand there's a, um, uh, wonderful pharmacy in Seaingwood, but that's across the sea. And I can't leave Ampy unattended. May I ask you to get some medicine for me, please? Um, Jasmine. Um, let's do a little bargaining here. One date, me and you, and I'll go get you some. Med I'll go get you all the medicine you want. Just one date. That's all I ask. Let me, you know, give me the opportunity to show you why I kind of, uh, you know, I think of you as the the original Bay of Pokemon. Give me that one opportunity to show you why you are the original Bay of Pokemon. I mean, no, Bays have come, Bays have gone. But Jasmine's the original. And you can say what you want about Misty or Sabrina or... You know what? Question of the day. We don't really do questions of the day, but like... Question... You know, question of the day, who was your Pokemon, you know, did you actually have an interest in Pokemon? Did you actually have a, you know, character that you kind of, like, you know, fancied from the original Pokemon games when you were a kid? I mean, I still do. I know I'm, like, 29 and stuff like that, but, like, Jasmine, Dawn, Iris, a little bit Shauna here and there, but, you know. Those were the Pokemon trainers I kind of fancied back when I was a kid. These days, I fancy Lily, but, you know. I have other... I actually have real girls I can fancy too now. Back when I was a kid, I didn't have the ability to... I did have the ability to like a girl, actual uh, real people, but like... You know, I paid no attention to them. I focused on my studies a lot. Look where it got me. I'm 29 years old and... And I'm 500. I'm almost at 500 subscribers on YouTube. Still no job, but you know, 500 subscribers on YouTube is not something to laugh at. But you know, it took me four years to get here. I should buy more repels. I should definitely buy more repels. But I'm just saying, back when I was a kid, I didn't have a lot of a social life. I just sat in and played video games, mostly Transport Tycoon. These days, I have a bit more of a social life. Not too much more. Not too much more. But I have a bit more. I would love a, I'd love a hell of a lot more of a social life. I'd love a job. I'd love to have... I'd love to have a way, you know, to go out there. But I do go out to those singles nights still, and I haven't been to one in a bit, but because, you know, I've been getting a bit shy at them, so I really don't I really don't like going to things that I'm shy at. Because, like, what's the point? I'm not getting anywhere. I'm just sitting in a corner, mostly typing to you guys on Twitter because, or a Discord, because the fact is, you know, I'm scared... I'm scared to hell to actually talk to any of the girls there. Which makes it really annoying for me to act, you know, makes it really annoying because that's not the reason why I'm there. I'm there to talk to the girl, I'm there to talk to people, and I can't do the thing I'm supposed to do. But I'm trying, believe me, I'm trying. And I mean, I wouldn't go out to these things in the first place if it wasn't for the fact that I wanted to try. And at this moment in time, I'm okay with the way I am, so I don't really need to worry about it, personally. I'm trying to let, you know, older Joe deal with the uh, situations that I've put myself in. And hopefully that I can, like, help him get to situations where those situations don't worry of him. You know, where he's not so shy. He's confident. Older Joe is confident. Older Joe still does YouTube, just a hell of a lot less often. You know, Older Joe might still record, 
but like it'll be like two, three times a week. And that's basically the channel because he's so busy working his full-time job, supporting his wife and uh, supporting his wife and kids. Yeah, I vent, I vent a lot of uh, realities for myself. It's not, it's a reality that I like to see come to pass, but like whether it happens or not, that is the question. And I think it might. I want it to happen. I do. Whether it's going to happen. That is, a, uh, that is another question, and, well, I'd rather just let the, I'd just rather just let older Joe deal with that, so, you know, tell you what, in five years' time, there'll be a video on this channel that proves that I'm right, and older Joe has actually got himself a job, a wife, and possibly kids, uh, maybe, maybe kids, I don't know. That last, that last section, not so important. But the older Joe with a wife, uh, older Joe with a potential wife and a, a job that allows him to have a sustainable way of, con or con you know, talking, you know, dealing with society. Because I feel I don't, I don't contribute to society. I have no, you know, I have no purpose in life. I have, I just go for day to day, recording videos, uh, and that's basically it, that's all I do, I record videos for you guys. Yeah, sure, you watch those videos, and you guys uh, enjoy them, but at the end of the day, what's that do for me? <laughs> not that I'm saying that you guys aren't important to me, I'm not trying to cut a heel promo or anything like that, it's just that, you know... I don't really know what this does, you know. Can I use these skills that I've made from making YouTube videos to help me in a future job? Possibilities. I would like to think I could. But we'll wait and see. We'll cross that bridge when it comes to it, okay? That seems like the best way of putting this. We'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. Don't you die, lover. There we go. I'm going to try and get to sea in wood, and then we're going to try and end off today's episode. Oh, come on! I guess we could also try and get an encounter. When the routes change, yeah? No, when the routes change here, so... We'll honestly see if we can get an encounter. Here I am grinding when I'm not supposed to be. Level 29 for lover. Um, let's go into somebody else. I mean, Nutmeg. Nutmeg. Let's bring in Nutmeg here. You know, Nutmeg resists fighting. Oh, Nutmeg got confused. Nutmeg could be an interesting Pokemon to use against the gym because he resists fighting. Wait, does grass resist fighting? Or is it... I think it's poison that resists fighting, and since I'm used to working with Venusaur, I also think grass would uh, resist fighting, but it doesn't. I know right now. It doesn't. It, grass does not resist fighting, because, you know... But I work with Venusaur a lot. I work with a lot of grass poison types, so I kind of think that, like, that is the case. I've worked with Venusaur, I've worked with Vileplume in the past, and I don't usually work with Bailey. You know, I work, I work with grass poison types. That's how I've like figured out that like grass is, you know, very a very useful thing. It's like a a great brick wall, if you will. Because Venusaur is an amazing wall. I love Venusaur. If I can draft Venusaur in the next league, the Everton and Polyons are part of, I can show you guys how good Venusaur is at being the great wall. That is the intention. That is what I would love to do in the next season of the IVL. I want to draft Mega Venusaur. Hell, I might even want to draft regular Venusaur instead of Mega Venusaur, because regular Venusaur is pretty much a better wall than 
Mega Venusaur has ever been. Hey, I'm even seeing wood. Now, do I have to beat the gym in order to get the potion? Because in the, in Hot Cold Soul Silver, you do have to beat the gym because he gets a uh, delivery. Which is the medicine. He's waiting on a delivery before you beat the gym. So you have to beat the gym before you can actually take uh, the delivery. Back to seeing wood. I mean, back to Olivine. But... I got it! I got the secret potion! I got the secret potion! He gave me it now! That's pretty cool! I'm in shock. A guy about your age was with prying eyes and long hair came in. He scared me to death and gave, uh, it scared me to giving him one of my prized Pokemon. I still have one left, but what if he comes back? You look strong. Can you look after my Pokemon for a while? Your Pokemon party is full. Alright. Let me go and sort that. Because this is a free encounter. And my repel's worn off, so I can get another I can get encounters here in Seenwood too. So let's deposit Lover, because Lover's a bit too advanced at this moment in time, and let's go and get that Pokemon. Because that should be Shucky, the Shuckle. go. Oh, thank you. Please take care of it. And we got a Pokemon. It is... Yeah, it's Shucky the Shuckle. Level 15. Uh, with a berry. Constrict, withdraw, wrap and encore. Not a bad mon. Not a bad mon. Kind of defensive wall. Kind of could work as an actual Pokemon that we can actually use. But honestly, see. For now, let's deposit Shuckle. Let's deposit Shuckle. And let's try and. Uh, let's look at the map here. Okay, so this is Seeing Wood. That's the Whirl Islands, we can't get in there just yet. This is Route 41, okay. So where... So let's run across the, uh, uh, the beach line here and get our encounter. Sage. Would you mind hitting the Pokemon? Instead of like completely missing the Pokemon? There we go, Sage. Oh, Sage, you killed it! Okay, is this Route 41? I will get a Tentacle. This one's level 20. I'm gonna Fury Cutter this one. Sage! Quit missing! That was a crit and it did nothing. Okay. We can do that again. It does a little more damage this turn, but not too much more. I think you can live one more Fury Cutter if we can hit. I said if we can hit. Which means this is going to go back to. That's going to reset. Yeah, because uh, Fury Cutter. Right, 
gets stronger every time it hits. I think that's all the damage I can do to you. I don't want to try and damage you anymore. Get in the ball. There we go, we got a tentacle. Got a tentacle. For jellyfish Pokemon. When the tide goes out, dehydrated tentacles remain and can be found on the uh, can be found washed up on the shore. There's only one nickname for Tentacle. And there will always only be one nickname for Tentacle. And if you've played Pokemon Stadium, you'll know the nickname. And if you haven't played Pokemon Stadium, and if you've been a fan of my channel for a while, you'll know that Chula Conroy's nickname, A Cool Tent, is the only nickname for a Tentacle. Now is this Route 41 or is this still seeing wood? No, this is Route 41, so that was legal. That was legal. That was Route 41, so that was legal. I can't get pa I don't have Whirlpool just yet, so I can't get into the sea uh, the Whirl Islands. But I might be able to just, uh, might have enough time before the end of today's episode to deliver the uh, secret potion back. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to try and get back to um, the island. I'm going to try and get back to Olivine and get this uh, magic potion back. There we go. I am backing up. I am back on Route 40 shoreline. I am back in Olivine. And we're going to deliver this potion. And because they give us this before, it means technically you could do any of these gyms. So I could do... Now I've delivered it. There's nothing stopping me from feeding Jasmine. There's nothing stopping me from taking on... Um... Oh. Oh. That's stopping me from taking on Jasmine. Uh, there's nothing stopping me from taking on Kirk and uh, Kurt. No, Chuck. Chuck. That's its name. Chuck. That's his name. Chuck. Okay, there's nothing stopping me from taking on Chuck. There's nothing stopping me from taking on Chuck. There's nothing stopping me from taking on Jasmine. And there's nothing stopping me from going all the way to uh, Mahogany Town and taking on Price. Just the only way I'd actually take on price is if I had, I don't know, you know, taken on the Red Gyarados and stuff like that. That's not. Uh, so basically, they're all about the same level. A few levels here and there, but like, they're all the same level. So I actually could take on any of them right now. Which one I'm going to take on? That's up to you guys. This is going to be the end of this uh, uh, video and the end of this session of recordings. But I will make sure to ask you guys in the comment section which guy I should take on. Because I think they're both three around about the same time. Will this medicine cure MP? Yes. Please don't be offended. Why don't I be offended? Ampy will take the medicine from, uh, uh, from no one but me. That's fine. Yeah, that's totally fine. I understand that you have a special relationship with Ampy. Ampy, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm so relieved. 
This is just so wonderful. Thank you so very much. I will return to my gym. So, Ampi is safe. We're done for the day, and I am going to head back to the Pokemon Center because that's the best place to save the game, in my personal opinion. So, in the next episode, we will take on one of these three gyms. I don't know which one it's going to be. It could be... Well, actually, it, we could either be Jasmine or it could be Chuck at this moment in time. There's still a few things I'd have to do to uh, actually unlock Price, but, you know, I couldn't go in and do those things to unlock Price. I could go deal with the Lake of Rage and, of course, you know, deal with Team Rocket, and that would basically allow me to take on Price as well. So, you know, we get into a situation where we can just get, like, three gym badges and, like, a matter of like a couple episodes so till next time i'm just ph games leave a like comment and subscribe button until next time i'm out see you again